Hi, my name is Karen Ritchie from South Africa. I come from a business background. I've run um, a company since 1981 that deals in tools and power tools and welding and construction equipment. And um, inside of myself was a very deep calling for a life that was more fulfilling other than a really successful business. And um, I branched off, uh, started really practicing yoga very deeply and then became a yoga teacher while running the company and then started a yoga center. Um, one evening at my yoga center, um, I got held up in a very, um, a very, very life-threatening um, armed robbery, myself and five friends. And um, I narrowly escaped being raped and also being, being shot as well as my friends did. It was really tough. The next day a friend called um, with condolences about what had happened and said to me, there's a woman here from Germany who's doing trauma work. Why don't you go and see her? So I called who is now a friend, Sabodi, and she said, I fly out tonight, but I've got a space. I can see you today. And during that session of SE with Sabodi, my mind was made up. This is the work I want to do. This is where I want my life to go. And in that September, I found myself in Italy with Diane Poole Heller doing my first module of SE. And since then, that has been the direction of my life. As much as I still teach yoga and still consult to the company of which I'm still the major shareholder, my life is devoted to, to trauma work, to um, supporting the well-being of people. Um, SE has brought so much more well-being into my own life, um, understanding my own nervous system, getting better to grips with my own anxiety, with my own underlying fear that I'm masked with a lot of courageous and often risky behavior, has now resulted in a much slower paced life, very much more satisfying, and of course, the fulfillment of my work has never ever been better um, contributing to people's well-being and I so trust that trauma is always a, a portal to better life so I feel privileged to stand at that portal with so many precious people.